it's awesome. I love it. It's almost like a bike lane, you know, just stay out of it and don't get in my way and just keep it moving. It's like an express lane for local pedestrians. A mystery artist painted a white line down the sidewalk on the east side of Fifth Avenue between 22nd and 23rd Streets. He labeled one side New Yorkers and the other side tourists. I think it's a good idea. A lot of people just slow up the traffic, want to take pictures. Uh, other people have to work and just get on their way. It's a quick town, so I think it's somewhat of a good idea. Tourists stop. They don't know where they're going. So the line would be great so they could stop and take their pictures and we could still get to where we need to be. Surprisingly, even some of the city's tourists agree that the line is a good idea. I think it's fine, actually, because obviously it's, the, the, it's all tourists around here, so I think it's a, it makes a good balance. I'm quite happy with it. No one knows who painted the street art, but many New Yorkers say they're familiar with large groups of slow-moving tourists that often stop suddenly to take photos or gawk at landmarks. Most residents say they try to treat visitors politely, no matter how frustrating they may be. Walk around, say excuse me, and no reason to get riled up about it. There are worse things in life than getting stuck behind a tourist. Of course, some people opt for a more direct approach to clearing a path through the congestion. I knock them down. Despite their feelings about sidewalk congestion, many New Yorkers concede that tourism plays a vital role in the city's economic and social growth, and that corner traffic jams are a small price to pay. I think when you have tourists um, visiting your city, uh, it shows you live in, in an interesting place, so I don't really mind it. You know, they do bring a lot to the city, and there's a lot of reasons for them to be here, so uh, I kind of give them a little bit of a pass. This is Brian Stillman with NYPost.com.